JiggyJaguar.com and JiggyJaguar.net. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners. Well, now you've been spending some money. You bought a new phone, a TV, a laptop, and a guitar. You also bought a vacuum cleaner. Well, and you also bought a power tool. Now you need to protect them. To protect your new phone, TV, laptop, guitar, vacuum cleaner, power tools, or anything with a serial number, you need the My Serial Numbers app. Get it at the Apple Store. Use My Serial Numbers. Enter your product information. Then when you need to apply the warranty or, or something gets stolen, you have everything you need right at your fingertips. The My Serial Numbers app is available at the Apple Store. Ba -ba -bum. We're going to go to the telephone here in just a few moments. I wish we would have somebody come on Skype so I could say Skype a Rooney, but uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go to the telephones here in just a few moments. By the way, if uh, you want to uh, watch our, if you missed our first segment with a uh, Falan Sinez, Sinis, Sinis, like I'm like gonna get Roman. Her, I'm gonna Sinis. get it right at some point. You could uh, you, you could go over and check out his. Uh, his Reverb Nation, his YouTube, all the different things. We're going to post all the information over there at JiggyJaguar.net. And uh, check it out. We, we need to go to the telephones. We've got, uh, we've got somebody on the telephone who uh, I, I can't wait to, to get the reaction uh, for, for when I ask the question about dancing. But um, uh, <laughs> go ahead, sir. Give us, a, give us a brief introduction on yourself. What's going on, man? What's up? Who, give me a I'm on the air, right? Who, who, who are we speaking to? Who are we You're speaking, speaking to? speaking to the one and only Navigator, New England hip-hop artist. The Navigator. I love that. That's right. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about your background, man. Um, I mean, you listen to hip-hop music. It's basically the same thing over and over again. You know, cars, money, women. It's just not what I do. Um, I actually tell stories with my music. Um, I like to raise awareness on certain things. There's a lot of issues going on in the world, and I'm that type of that's the type of artist I am. I like to paint a picture, a vivid picture, a storyteller. You know what I mean? That's basically my style, right there. That's cool. That's cool. Now, uh, you've been doing music for a heck of a long time. Tell me how you got started doing the music thing, man. Uh, believe it or not, um, your boy Gordy will tell you. Uh, when I was a young boy, I used to dance like Michael Jackson. I'm talking like. By you the age of four years old. Wow! I was doing see, a drill see, and dance up see. and down the neighborhood, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> see, uh, there, there was there was an there was an issue in studio here. Uh, Gordy sort of outed you and said Michael Jackson. <laughs> I told you, it's, it's, he's, he's absolutely right, man. Okay, hey, I, we're, we're gonna do we're gonna do a quick little behind the curtain thing here. S tell me, tell me if you can hear Gordy here in just a few seconds. Go. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear him? At all? Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit, a little bit more. Uh, there you go. Now I can hear him. Yeah, man. This, this he, is, he outed I, you on the air and was talking about the here earlier before we got on the air about how oh yeah he used to dance like Michael Jackson. Well, no, that's not what I said. I said <laughs> when when we were younger, I thought for sure when he grew up he would have been a choreographer because of how much he danced. It was my wife who outed him on the Michael Jackson <laughs> stuff. But I'll tell you what, man. This, this dude, when he was a kid, he could nail every single Michael Jackson movie there was, and I'm sure he probably still can. I love it, man. I'm gonna, I think it's I'm gonna tell you right now. What's I'm in up? my 30s, and I still got Michael Jackson Thriller step by step. I'm not as fast as I was, but step by step, I got you on that Michael Jackson. I'm telling you, it'll be on YouTube someday. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Hey, I think I think it's cool that. Uh, so 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 you started out. You did the dance thing. Then you moved into um, doing the hip hop thing. Tell me a little bit about some of the different themes and things that you cover in your hip hop, brother. Okay, well, I mean, so the Michael Jackson thing that that opened me up to performing. Because I yeah. mean, if I was performing at four years old in the neighborhood in front of the local guys, that kind of made me comfortable with performing. As far as hip hop goes, I started listening to Nas, Wu Tang. You know, the old school hip-hop cool. stuff, that really, That's really cool. that really brought me in. You know what I mean? And the fact that I used to write stories as a kid and, um, you know, stuff like that, I was real creative as far as my mind with the writing of stories. It kind of, I mixed hip-hop with the storytelling together, and that's how I came about with, you know, my whole style. Now, uh, if, if we wanted to send somebody, uh, if we wanted to send the listeners to find you somewhere online other than Facebook, 
so they can hear some of your music and different things. Where would we send them? Would we like Reverb Nation, SoundCloud? Uh, uh, I have a SoundCloud, yeah. Um, that's mainly where most of my music is right now. SoundCloud.com. Search Navigator Hip Hop. You'll get a bunch of tracks. Fine. Um, obviously, Facebook, Masio, Navigator Quinones, uh, Twitter at Navigator Hip Hop. Um, I'm working on a few things. I'm trying to. I got um, a whole other album that I uploaded to ThatPiff.com as well. Now, Navigator, how did you get this name, Navigator? You know, it's funny because uh, when I was a young kid, I used to, you know, when you're young and you're rapping, you think you, you're, you know, the king of, uh, of the streets or whatever you want to call it. So I used to call myself Young G, which is as corny as hell. But <laughs> my boy, my boy awesome, Alias, man. who's a pretty well-known Boston artist out here, he actually gave me Young G, a.k.a. the Rap Navigator. So I kind of just liked the whole thing and just kept Navigator on there, so... That's basically what it is. You navigate, you choose your own path, you move forward, whatever the case is. So that's I just kept navigating and just stuck, really. We got we got I um <laughs> I know that that some somebody sent us a tweet. And I'm gonna just see if I can get this going there. Navigator hip hop. Somebody sent me a tweet and said they tried to they tried to go over to SoundCloud like I'm doing right now. And tried to find some of your music, and all they find is a whole bunch of people named Navigator, but they don't find you. What, what is? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I know there's a couple Navigators out there. Um, I just, I don't know, man. I know it's Navigator Hip Hop, all together, one word. Oh, on, all together, on SoundCloud, one word. Okay. And you'll get that. Because as soon as I can find it, there we go, I can find it. Now I'll just go ahead and just tweet this damn thing. So yeah, if you see the Puerto Rican standing in front of the American the flag. Puerto Rican standing in front of the yeah, American flag. Yeah, I'm just trying flag. to I'm just trying to fit in any way I can, man. <laughs> I love it. Now, how did you um uh, how, how did how did you come up with all the all these cool songs, man? Cuz I heard some of the music earlier this week. And uh you you got some really cool stuff, man. Um, thank you, I appreciate that, man. Um, I, like I said, I, I like to tell stories. As you can see, I'm trying to be a clown on the radio. Um, but I really like to tell stories. Gordy will tell you. I'll be on the blog telling stories like crazy. But a lot of my music comes from lifetime experiences. Like, I don't have time to rap about BS. You're not going to hear me rap about girls with big butts and all that. Because, number one, I'm in my 30s I would, and it's weird. I, I, not, number, not, to, not to catch you off, but I, if I was a rapper, I would rap about girls and big butts. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, 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 I wish I could, right but if I did that, that, when I get, I get a Puerto Rican walk, oh, I gotta come home to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I know who butters my butt, homie, you know what I'm saying? What you gotta realize, Jiggy, is where me and him are from, um, you know, it, it ain't like out here, man. Um, but we, where we grew up, if you, if you couldn't fight and... and and scrap and, and knock somebody out pretty fucking quick. You were getting your ass handed. <laughs> you know? As bombs, and, please. Uh, this isn't it's Kuwait. Uncensored. This isn't Kuwait. He said it's uncensored. That's awesome. So, you know, <laughs> where, where we grew up, man, you, you, you had to be able to handle yourself. And there was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, fires every week. You know, people fighting in the middle of the streets. Yeah. You know, uh, we ha we've had people in them projects when I was living there shooting at, shooting at, projects shit my house was lit on fire when we moved out of there wow you know i mean that's a hell of a going so, away I mean, kid yeah <laughs> going away prison where, where we well light your house on fire where we grew up at Jeez. yeah, yeah, it's, a lot of yeah it's crazy man now uh let's do this we're gonna play some of your music off the soundcloud because for whatever reason i can't get these mp3s to play i think it's because of my quintessential player which is absolute garbage but um uh, okay well what, what song are you trying to play first well, what I was, what I was, uh, the this thing just keeps locking up on me. Is, is there is there a particular song on the SoundCloud page you want people to hear, and we'll we'll get that going uh, first. Uh, the uh, I would like to hear the Melanie song first, uh, if possible. Um, tell, that'd be great. Tell me a little bit the, about that song. Well, it's a true story. It's um, on a serious note. This is a childhood friend of mine. Uh, was actually a next door neighbor at one point. Grew up with the family. Um, yeah. There's a mystery that is going on. It's going on its 25th anniversary next week. This girl disappeared. Wow. A 14 year old girl disappeared. She went into the woods to party with some friends. Never came home. The story is yet to be solved. So, um, and uh, you know, I'm kind of cool with the family and all that. Uh, I brought cool. along a very young, talented girl by the name of Maddie Ryan. She sings the hook for me. 
she's amazing. You're going to be hearing about her in the future, I guarantee you. That's cool. Um, so this song means a lot, obviously. Well, let's do it. It's so, Navigator. I'm to really win on that. You know what it's I mean? It's Navigator, it's Melanie, and it's here on Radio Xenu. We're back here in a few moments. 14-year-old Melanie Melanson was the youngest of a dozen kids gathered in these woods that October night. Most of the older teens had been here many times before. It's heartbreaking to feel that she's out there. We know she's out there. And we just want to put her precious little head on a, a little pillow and cover her with a blanket. It's really heartbreaking. This is a story about a girl named Melanie, one of the happiest little girls you'll ever see. Another unsolved mystery turn legacy, a story that forever remains etched in our memory. The year was 89, everything was cool, and Melanie had just finished up with middle school. Coming off from a rough upbringing and a rough beginning, a grandmother took her in and her little brother growing up, all they had was each other. And we were neighbors, so we shared lots of laughs with each other. She was friends with my sister, all the things I remember jump broken in the summer, snowballs in the winter. To her sleeping over yeah. watching Freddy Krueger playing hide and seek. She and my sister try to scare me when I try to sleep. I remember the radio blasting, hearing them singing and laughing on the block in the summer heat. But then the leaves changed color and it was fall. What happened next forever would change us all. In just a few days before Halloween, she went to hang out in the woods with a group of other teens. And she was only 14, she had a curfew. So when she didn't make it home, there was a search to find out the reason that she disappeared. And while we still have to go back to so many years. As time goes on and time runs, they change color and fall begins. Takes me back to when. Never came home, but we kept searching for you, for you, for you, for you. After you disappeared, it was sad to see your family dealing with this overwhelming tragedy. Some of your relatives passed away unexpectedly while hanging on to hope that you would just appear magically. It saddens me when I read your brother's statuses Cause nobody has a story that's as sad as his Every Halloween he cries himself to sleep Knowing somebody knows something but ain't nobody trying to speak News cameras pulling up, newspapers printing up All the stories about your life inside of it Milk cartons with your face on the side of it But no suspect for the police to go try and get In a town where everybody knows your business Nobody knows how this girl disappeared from existence You telling me that there isn't a single witness To point us in the right direction And tell us who we should question Nobody talking like the case is forbidden So my opinion, she ain't missing, she's being hidden it's obvious someone committed a felony Has something to do with the disappearance of Melanie As time goes on and time runs Leaves change color and fall begins Takes me back to when you left Never came home but we kept searching For you stone until the day comes when we bring you back home yeah dedicated to Melanie Melanson we'll never forget you wow that is a hell of a song we've got uh, Navigator back with us fantastic track my friend yeah, man, it's all real, man. Like I said, I'm a storyteller, and that's the song that really meant a lot to me. I mean, I wrote it a while ago, and I was kind of sitting on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just felt it was right. Well, it's a it's a it's a heck of a track. What what's been some of the reaction you've gotten to this? Um, a lot actually. Uh, a lot of her relatives that 
I haven't spoke to him so long, reached out to me, thanking me. I mean, they're yeah. just, you know, you know, they're just both going nuts over the song and everything. And and like I said, I mean, this is a 25 year old mystery. This is a young girl that my son's age now. You know what I mean? So it's kind of wow. like as a parent, you look at it a certain way. You know, you yeah. look at it differently. And um, I just feel like 25 year old mystery, but without question, I feel like at some point it will be solved. You know, everything comes to light. So um, it's just a matter of time. Well, uh, you, you've got a heck of a story, my friend. I, I love this music. Um, before, before we let you go, I want to play one more song, and I want to get your thoughts on this. But uh, I'll tell you, I would love to see if sometime we could get you out here to Kansas to do a show. Because uh, the kind of music that, that you've got, people need to hear out here, man, because there's... There's too many of these, and I'm just and and what she said earlier. I'm just gonna start referring to them as 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 girls and big butt rappers. Uh, <laughs> I'm just that's, that's all that's all we've got out here. Is, yeah, is it's, yeah, that, those kind of guys. Mean, well, those Midwestern girls. I mean, they do have big butts and all well, this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I, I'm down to go to camp. First of all, my Boston Red Sox won the World Series last year, so I'm pulling for the Royals right now. So I would like to get out that there. I know that you guys are in Missouri, Royals. but you're close enough. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> definitely, I'd like to get out there. I need a vacation anyway. My job is killing me. So God, why I'm down. <laughs> come, come to Kansas on vacation? What? Well, There's a whole lot of nothing to do. It's perfect for vacation. Which, by the way, I got caught in a tornado in Massachusetts. I no lie. No lie. So, you, so uh, yeah, it's definitely a dark cloud. <laughs> there was a tornado in Massachusetts? There was a tornado back in August in Revere, Massachusetts, and your boy was definitely caught up in it. And I was like, there's no, like, seriously? I was waiting to wake up, but nope, it was real. I got caught up in it. I run that fast in 10 years. I'll tell you. <laughs> you you had to run into a school? Is that what was going on? I ran into yeah, I ran into a school. That, that's not true. Listen, you guys are used to it, and it's probably like this is probably like just some wind for you guys. But when I see a tree coming down, <laughs> some wind? I was listen. I was thought I'm Puerto Rican. That's not guys. normal to see trees coming flying at you. You know what I'm saying? Like we <laughs> we have to breathe. You know, we got low riders and all that stuff flying at us. We don't. Once you start seeing trees getting thrown at you, you got to run, dude. If it doesn't cow, look normal, run. Cow. Cow. I don't think that's the same cow. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we're going to we're gonna we're gonna play one more off of the uh, off the SoundCloud page. What, what, what do you want us to uh, What do you want us to play here, my friend? Um, I would like to be. I would like for y'all, if you can, to play the song "Tears." That's another one that I, it's a storyteller one. Uh, okay. That was based on the the rise in overdoses that have been popping off. It's crazy. I think it's over 200 in Massachusetts in the last three or four months. I don't know the exact number, but Good heroin God. overdoses are out of control. Um, a lot of my old classmates, relatives, and stuff like that have succumbed to this. I have a close friend that's going on a year that passed away. Another close friend two years Why ago. Why is heroin such a big deal in Massachusetts? It's like it is out of control it. out here. Wow. It is crazy. So, um, the way I wrote this song, I don't want to do a thing over the drugs <laughs> campaign, something that your health teacher is going to tell you. Um, I wrote it in a first-person perspective as a parent watching their kid overdose That's and cool. the whole breakdown of it. So, I mean, I wanted to paint a graphic picture to kind of send a message and raise, raise awareness to the problem at hand. You know what yes. I mean? So it's another one of those um, storyteller tracks. And then you start this track with actual statistics from the TV, right, or something like that? That's cool. You, you, that, that, that is really cool, man, that you start this, uh, you start this track with actual, actual stats. Actual facts, man. That's awesome. Well, we're going to do this. It's Tears, Navigator Hip Hop, here in the World Bank. Those numbers, in Massachusetts, CJ and Warfare. when you think about that, why the, why the spike? Why the sudden danger? Is it new types of heroin? I think, no, not necessarily. I think what's happening is we're just seeing a, a rise in the amount of people that are getting hooked on prescription opiates, and then they move to they heroin. They make that switch. We're seeing younger and younger people from all walks of life coming in as uh, addicted to opiates. Heroin can get you after one use. It can kill you.
What makes you think I wouldn't notice? You always locking your doors, you listen to Calvin Brodus. Chilling in a room full of Cypress Hill posters. Clothes smelling like smoke, eyes are out of focus. And they're bloodshot, pissed off, looking at your mugshot. You got caught up when the police raided a drug spot. Dropped out of school, had me looking like a fool. Teacher said you had potential if you utilize a tool. You're too busy being cool. Had your mom crying tears, now she's drowning in the pool. Looking at pictures of you as a youngster, so innocent. Opening up your Christmas gifts, now I can't believe what I'm witnessing. Your girl left you, cause she got a future She's going to college so she can't be straddled with a loser Total burnout, it hurts to see the way you turned out I shed tears, living out a parent's worst fear Yeah Now you snorting coke and I hear you smoking crack Hanging with the homeless folks underneath the overpass Heard you knocking on the door but we didn't listen Cause last time you came home there was some money missing Tried to put you in rehab but you wasn't budging Told us to mind our own business and stop judging You lost a lot of weight, lost a lot of teeth in the process Your body's failing you so every time you eat you get nauseous And now you popping vikes and perks, whatever works Saying that you only take them when your body hurts I heard you owe money and some people looking for you And you fucked your homies over now they Starting to ignore you when it's sad Your ex-girls now a college grad While you bounce from house to house With your clothes and garbage bags yeah. Been months since you called your mom and dad And we fear the worst type of news A parent yeah. should ever hear It's almost like a sign of like Why did you have to, you know? Why did you have to? Now I'm standing in front of your grave Wishing that I could go back It's your life I would have saved Instead of turning away All I did was look away When you needed to get high Just to get you through the day Now you're gone I should have seen it coming all along Should have stopped you back When it was just smoking from a bong Cause it turned to a pipe Then it turned to a needle Then it turned to you shaking As you laying in the fetal Popping pills non-stop Scratching uncontrollably Ignoring your calls When you would try to get a hold of me I couldn't come to terms With my son being a junkie I ignored the same problem That's been poisoning in the country, damn Now I'm sitting here crying tears Cause your life ended just after a few years I encourage all parents to never ignore signs Keep your kid's name out of the Daily Times <laughs> well, uh, this you you are a heck of a storyteller, my friend. I will have to say. Uh, Thank you, sir, man. Appreciate it. Navigator, you are the man. How do we how do we find you? Uh, uh, you're 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 on Twitter, Facebook, all these places. I know you're on Facebook. Yeah, you know, you you, see, you probably see my rants because I'm a diehard sports fan and I just go nuts with every game. But, yeah, um, you got me on that Facebook, Mafia on Navigator Quinones, um, Twitter, at Navigator Hip Hop. Same thing with SoundCloud, Navigator Hip Hop. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much where you get all my one, stuff. Another thing out here for you. Um, okay, any, yeah. Anytime you want to talk about WWE and, and stuff like that, because I know you're big on it. Oh, Jesus. If you, if you want to get, like, cross-country talking, you, you know. Okay, so, so, so you're, you're a wrestling fan, Navigator. Uh, you know what? I actually went to, I actually went to like one of those ninety-minute trials in the Killer Kowalski school. And oh, I, had Jesus. Throw my, I had to throw my dream away because I've never been so sore. You know what we're gonna do? Sub sub time. I'm gonna book yeah, you. I, I I'm gonna book that. you on a Sunday for hour one. We're gonna talk WWE, and then I'm gonna book uh, our, our, our our little Latin perv magnet over there on the couch <laughs> uh, in the uh, in the in the second hour. We're gonna we're gonna talk Lucha Mexican Lucha. wrestling and Lucha Libre, and then I'll have Kevin Chris sitting where Diane is. And his head will just explode. <laughs> so uh, the, the the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> well, I will be in touch with you on that. We, we are we are thinking of bringing back. And oh God, I don't know why I want to do this, but we're thinking of bringing back um, our weekly wrestling talk show that we used to do on KJagradio.com, where we talked professional wrestling. 
and uh, we would have guests on. We ended up having on Terry Funk, Shane Douglas, Rhino, Matt Hardy. Um, God, who else did we have on there? Uh, we had one episode where Chris was talking crap on a local wrestler by the name of Kenny Zombie Jones, and Kenny was listening to it on his mobile phone and just showed up. Uh, that that was that was quite an interesting uh, deal. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but if 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 we if we do bring that back, I will uh, I will have you back on my. Fr- I'm going to have you back on to begin with. But the wrestling mm-hmm. thing, uh, there's all sorts of things we can have you on to talk about music, wrestling, all sorts of things. So. That's yeah, awesome. well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I was a big wrestling fan growing up. I still watch it. It's a man soap opera. Don't tell me it's fake. I understand that. It's entertaining <laughs> to me. That's it. <laughs> Don't tell me it's fake. I understand that. <laughs> Man, but... To well, get back on a serious note, though, we've yes. we got to try to get him out here. Somehow. Yes, I, I, I would love to have you come out here at some stage of the game and play, man. I think that would be fantastic. Absolutely. I am absolutely down. As long as, as, long as you shot. guys can accept... A six three. It's really rare you see a six three Puerto Rican, but I am six three and I am Puerto Rican. So six three Puerto Rican. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, with those stats, you're gonna have all sorts of little white chicks out here just trying to climb that tree. But, but you're gonna have to explain that you're not Mexican, you're Puerto Rican, because yes. they won't understand. Yes, yeah, well, they, they won't understand. Exactly. And uh, you, you, you'll get all sorts of lines like you're a yes. the water and I'm thirsty. There'll be all sorts of yeah. dumb things that will be thrown at you. So uh, you, 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 you could be like the Puerto Rican Caligula out here uh, if, yeah. if, if given enough time. But Navigator, thank you, sir, and I will be in touch. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate Everyone it. Everyone involved, thank you. It was a blast. Definitely, man. We'll talk soon. Have yourself a good day, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Take care. We're going to take a uh, quick time out here. When we come back, we got more. Tell you, personal appointments with David Adelson is a fantastic marketing partner.